Real-time rendering is high on the wish list of every visual effects artist, and HitFilm leverages the power of your computer hardware, including the graphics processor, to keep rendering as quick as it can. But real-time renders aren't always possible. Even with the best of hardware, as a timeline gets more and more complex, it will eventually require more processing power than can be performed in real time. I'm Axel Wilkinson for HitFilm.com, here to show you HitFilm 3 Pro's tools for dealing with these situations, RAM preview and proxies. You can download the project file to follow along. My system cannot render this tunnel timeline in real time. While working on it, I can do things like reduce the viewer quality, turn off motion blur, or enable particle preview to speed things up while making adjustments. But at some point, I will want to see the actual finished effect in motion. RAM previews are an immediate short-term system for viewing your current composite shot in real time. They are stored in RAM, which reads really fast, so playback will be smooth. Since RAM is temporary memory, RAM previews will be deleted as soon as you leave the timeline or change anything in the comp. They are best suited for previewing small selections. For example, when I review the start of this tunnel timeline, I want these wibbly orange particles to appear more gradually. I can open their lifetime panel and keyframe the scale, then RAM preview a small section to see how I like the results. Just place the playhead at the beginning of the area you want to preview and click the circular play button below the viewer to start it rendering. The blue bar indicates the frames that have been rendered. After watching it back, if I don't like my changes, I can tweak the controls further and immediately preview again. You can also set in and out points on the timeline and enable looped playback to really get a feel for what is happening on a specific section of the timeline. We have looked at both looping playback and in and out points before, and combining these with RAM preview is great for reviewing composites and effects to get things dialed in perfectly. The amount of timeline you can render will depend on how much RAM is available and the frame rate of your timeline. You can control the amount of your system RAM that is accessible for previews from the HitFilm options or the preferences on a Mac. Just enter the amount of RAM in megabytes. Proxies are somewhat more permanent and work well for longer timelines and video clips. They are stored on the hard drive and are referenced in the project file. So if you close a project that was saved containing proxies, when you reopen it, the proxies will still be in place and functioning. A quick note, for time purposes, the proxy renders in this tutorial may not be real time, as the focus is on showing you how to use them and render times will vary from one system to another. As a rule, Video cameras record in formats that do not perform well for editing. I didn't include any video in this project file, but feel free to import whatever video files you have handy. These might be videos directly from your camera. Right-click on any video file and make proxy. You can begin working with the files right away. While you work, HitFilm will create a duplicate of your video in a lossless, proprietary format that is specially designed for HitFilm to read as quickly as possible. In the media panel, this ring shows the render progress. As soon as the proxy is complete, HitFilm will seamlessly switch from using the original video to the high-performance proxy. You can also proxy a clip from the timeline. Since proxies are created from the source clip, if you right-click a clip on the timeline and make a proxy, the entire source clip will be proxied, not just the portion used in the edit. This is great for editing because you can adjust the edit later without worrying about which frames are proxied or not. Everything will play smoothly. As with any editing format, HitFilm's proxy files do require a fair amount of storage space. Composite shots can also be proxied from the media panel. Right-click on the Tunnel Comp and Make Proxy and the entire contents of the timeline will be proxied into a video file that can be easily played in real time. Create a proxy of stars as well. Proxying comps is useful for a variety of reasons. First, you can use this to preview a comp in much the same way as a RAM preview. Proxies have an advantage in being more permanent. Even if we switch to another timeline, when we come back to the tunnel, the proxy is retained. Of course, if you change anything in the comp, 
then it will need to be re-rendered. But when a comp is embedded, you can access another huge benefit of proxies. When an embedded comp is proxied, the entire contents of the comp behave like a video file. If you look at the contents of the tunnel comp, it contains three particle simulators with motion blur, and several grade layers involving blurs, displacement, and other effects. And if I drop that comp into wormhole, it plays back in real time, just as if it were video. But then, I can add grading to the layer, and still get real time playback, because HitFilm doesn't need to recalculate the particles and motion blur for every frame, that's already done in the proxy. By implementing the proxy, HitFilm can render the grading much more quickly. This makes it massively faster, and easier to experiment with grading options over the top of complex effects or composites. By structuring your project around embedded composite shots, and then making proxies of those comps, you can drastically improve render times and speed up your workflow. The STARS comp here is another particle simulator, set to generate an enormous spherical star field. Since we have proxied it as well, we can turn on that layer underneath our tunnel, and HitFilm still plays them back nicely. As we add other layers, things once again get more complex, and our frame rate might drop. But then, we have the option of creating a proxy of the wormhole timeline as well. Proxies are a major part of HitFilm 3 Pro's hybrid editing and compositing workflow. If you are creating complex visual effects shots in HitFilm and dropping them straight into the editor along with your other footage, you don't need to export a finished version of the effects shot. Instead, once the effects shot is completed, you can create a proxy and it will play back smoothly in your edit. This means you don't have additional exported files to keep track of, and you still have immediate access to editing the shot at any time, should it ever need further tweaking. HitFilm 3 Pro will also take advantage of proxies when you export. So rather than rendering the project from scratch, whatever proxies are in place will be used to shorten render times for the export. On my system, export of this timeline went from 7 minutes and 22 seconds without proxies, to 0 minutes and 6 seconds with proxies. 6 seconds, over 70 times faster. If you ever export multiple versions of your projects, perhaps one for uploading and another as a master, this can save a ton of time, since rendering the proxies once dramatically shortens every export. If you open the HitFilm options on Windows, or the Preferences on Mac, there is a Proxy tab, where you can manage the proxy settings. You can specify the volume where your proxies are stored. By default, HitFilm will take advantage of as much space as that drive has available. But if you want to, you can place a limit on the proxy directory size. You can also delete all proxies from this tab, which clears the entire directory. Note that this will remove proxies not only for the current project, but for all HitFilm projects that contain proxies. The processor shows you the progress of all proxies that are being rendered. You can pause, cancel, and resume them, either individually or all at once. Not all workspaces show the processor panel by default, but it can be shown or hidden through the view menu, as can any panel. In the media panel, you can also right-click an item to cancel a proxy or to remove a completed proxy. Proxies aren't as visually exciting as some other features, but hopefully this video has given you an idea of the huge impact they can have on your workflow and efficiency in HitFilm 3 Pro. So thanks for watching. Now go and make some proxies and see for yourself how great they are. And I will say goodbye until next time.